Hey there everybody, it is me, the Mighty Lion, and welcome to yet another Fire Emblem Let's Play for my channel. This is the third Fire Emblem game I'm doing right now, LP number 9, and actually this is going to be a very, very different type of LP this time, because this is not only the first time I'm LPing on the emulator of sorts, but this is probably the first time I'm ever LPing a game not localized outside of Japan. Yep, this is the, the 12th Fire Emblem game in the series, and a game that was never released outside of Japan. This is Fire Emblem, New Mystery of the Emblem, or translated, here comes Fire Emblem, uh, Heroes of Light and Shadow. This is actually a sequel to the 11th Fire Emblem game called Shadow Dragon, and this is also a remake of the third Fire Emblem title, Mystery of the Emblem. So not only do we have a remake of a sequel, but we have this sequel that is a sequel of a remake. Did you get all that? Because that was the joke and I'm pretty sure I butchered that immediately. Also, if you hear a sound stuttering here, don't worry, that's just the intro. Well, I don't know why it does that, but whatever the case is. This is my third favorite Fire Emblem title, and I'm really looking forward to LPing all of this stuff. I got, I downloaded OBS, this is the method I'm using to record this. I got a new headset just for this occasion. You probably heard it because I tested it for the, you know, live recording. When I was doing the Q&A video, I mentioned this. So yeah. <clears throat> Fire Emblem 12. New Mystery of the Emblem, this is what I'm calling it. I think this is a good game, and just for the heck of it, uh, let's see. Okay. We're not do I'm not doing Lunatic Mode or Maniac Mode because those games, those levels are very, very hard. Normal would be too easy, so I'm going to stick with hard. And this game also introduces um, Casual and Classic Mode. Casual Mode, basically, if an ally dies, they are dead forever. They come back at the next chapter. But it doesn't apply for the main characters. And Classic Mode is, you know, the classic, fallen, if an ally dies, they stay dying. They stay died. If an ally dies, they stay dead. That's what it means. I'm sticking with classic mode because that's how I am. And here's an interesting thing right here. Basically, for the first time in the series, this game introduces a playable character. You can create... I only know Fire Emblem 7 Blazing Blade did this first, but... Um, that was more of an indirect... Thing, indirect link between the, the player and the characters. Here, for the first time, you can create your own playable unit to fight alongside the main char main char characters in the adventure. I'm calling him John because if you know who I, if you know me, you know why I'm calling him that. Now, later series of this game would introduce um, playable like avatars like Robin and Corin, and I know. It may be divisive to some, but personally, I like the addition of having a playable create-your-own-character create in the series. I think it's a nice touch. Now, in, the different thing about this game here is you can choose other classes. You can choose Mercenary, Knight, Cavalier, Fighter, or Archer, and Mage. For me, I'm going to go with Fighter because I like axes. Alright, we're going to adjust our hair color right here. Let's see, how do I want it? Long hair, no, nope. Okay, afro is not for me. I'm a very basic, boring person, so I'm gonna keep this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I think this color would work. Yellow, because you know why. And eyes, um... Uh, I think this one looks, I like this one. Okay, so now... Past, present, and future. Basically, this contributes to how your base, extra base stats and extra base growth. So, Orphan. This goes for HP, plus four health. Most impressive attribute. Uh, strength. I think that's, yeah, strength and magic. And this one affects your growth rates. Honorable, which I believe is skill and speed. And FYI, you can't choose the same stat for past, present, future. So you can't, meaning you can't focus all of it on health. A 
ignore that. I don't know why it does that in my emulator, but <laughs> it's like a kind of dubstep. Anyways, we have a prologue, and this is a very, very long prologue. And we get a wake-up call from this girl, Katarina. You alright? <laughs> You're in a hurry, huh? Yep, but I'm here to become a knight. I came all the way from Sarah Village where I heard they were recruiting new knights. The name's Jean. Jean, that sounds so dignified. Well, thank you, I guess someone likes it. Looks like we're here for the same reason. Yep, Mark is the protagonist of the series. But, this is a prologue, and the focus is on our unit. His default name, you know, is Chris, just so you know. And it goes by saying that both the male and female variants of this unit is named Chris as well. So yeah, looks like we got some competition. They are night candidates like us. Alright. So this takes place after Shadow Dragon. Which, um... Uh, I know didn't do so well, but I think it was a decent game as well. At the same time. Hell, that was the first... The Shadow Dragon was the first fighting game I played. It introduced me to the series. So yes. The story of the prologue is this. We're on our way to become Knights of Altia in order to serve under the Prince, or now King, Marth. So, we're gonna gather in pairs. So, looks like we have a partner. She's a strategist. <clears throat> Alright, you're up next. Grab your weapons, get into position. Hurry up! Yep, alright, looks like we're about to start. Let's do it. Alright. Just trying to save. I don't know why it stutters like that, but whatever. So yes, this is our character, our unit, our avatar, how you want to call him. Basically, I'm not really going to go over this guy because, well, there's really nothing to say. He's your unit. He's naturally strong enough as it is. But at the same time, well, he could be any way you want it. With the added base growth and strength and stat boosters you give him, he's already downright broken. In the case of my unit, in my unit's case, I made him to pretty much a breaking glass cannon. Fetch, which poor defense, but very strong offense and health. It's your unit, you can customize any way you want. Do you want him to be a tank or do you want him to be a speedster? The choice is yours and yours alone. And there you go, just like that, map's cleared. We passed the test! Most splendid, I think we expect much more from this year's apprentices. We did it! We won, John! I like to imagine this... Here's my scenario. I like to imagine this as, uh, the events after volume 3 of Ruby. Uh, John failed to protect Pyrrha, and... As a result, he wound up in Altia. Starting a new life here. Serving underneath Prince Mark. Hopefully he won't fail this time. Also, they decided to become a fighter instead of a um, swordman. Instead of like a mercenary, I would say. Because, you know. Because, you know, considering the fact that John fights with a sword and, sword and shield, he would pretty much be like a mercenary in a way. That's how I imagine he would be. So, truly happy to have so many come to help Altius sh to help shoulder Altius' future. I can't freaking read. But the war over peace is returned. However, peace isn't something we can simply take for granted. It's my duty as ruler to risk my life to protect it. Alone, I'm powerless. So everyone, from now on, lend me your power as my knights. Sure thing, your highness. Hold on, I'm going to lower the volume a little bit. I can barely hear myself talk. Okay, I'm good now. Let's keep out together. Now... I have a bad habit of playing the sequel before the prequel, so if you played... So, if by the rare chance, and I use this rare, because you haven't... Because, like, not many people have played this game. If you played this game before Shadow Dragon, this thing does a good job in uh, recapping the events. So, in the past, there was a war known as the War of Shadows. It began with a fearsome Shadow Dragon, Medius, I think that's how you pronounce it, launched a sudden invasion. Dole to Archania. The Kingdom of Archania protected the lands clashed with Medius' forces. 
but against such superior might, Archania was overwhelmed and traveled in defeat. Nina, Princess of Archania, had no choice but to flee from her beloved homeland. To rescue Archania, the Kingdom of Altia, its allied nation, sailed forth. However, it too was defeated by Minius. With the king lost to war, Altia fell to ruins. From its exiled shores, shores Marth, the young prince of Altia, swore he would retake his homeland. Marth never forgot his oath. Years later, he rallied an army at Talus to defeat Medius. I saw him butchering the names. Starting with Sita, Talus's princess, Marth gathered together many allies. Duke Hardin, Nina's guardian, also became one of his trusted comrades. With Archania's treasured fire emblem awarded to him by Nina, Marth led the Archanian League as its commander. In the following battles, the League wrestled back control of both Archania and Altia. Finally, after a long and fierce battle with Shadow Dragon Medius' forces, turn the page, Marth vanquished the Shadow Dragon, and thus did peace return to the world. These are the events that transpired one year ago. Jeez, one year? Wow. This is a very long prologue, by the way. Eight parts to be exact. So now, now that we're acquainted into the Altian army, we've been designated as members of 7th Platoon. Yeah, so where are the others? Oh, here's our newcomer, Luke, the Paladin of Dawn, and Rhodey, or as he known in the translation, uh, Roderick, which I kind of like better than Rhodey. Oh, and this is Ryan. It's, it's supposed to be a Y. I didn't download the complete translate version, but take my word of it, it's Ryan. It's a Y. Ryan is Gordon's brother, by the way, just so you know. So, what's the plan for today? So, basically, we're going to decide who's going to be the new leader. And Luke nominates Luke because he's a conceited douche. But no, Katarina recommends us instead. John is a really strong individual, and didn't abandon me during the mock combat yesterday, even though I couldn't fight. Alright, so, looks like we have a challenge to be who will be the leader. It's a challenge, man to man. John, you're not afraid to fight me, are you? Yeah, I won't lose to you. Okay, so it's a 2v2 between me and Ryan against Luke and Rhodey. So... Yep, we got Ryan on our team. I suppose I should go over his uh, stats. Why not? So, how do we go about this? Okay, Luke goes first, and then Ro and then Rhodey does it. Well, actually, in normal mode, Rhodey disappears off, and then you just fight Luke. No, no, no. Okay, there it is. So, I suppose I should go over Ryan's stats. So, all right, Ryan is. Uh, my opinion, I think he's better than, I think he's better than Gordon in a way. I think, because A, well Gordon does come with some better stats at a higher level, Rhodey, I mean Ryan, you have more time to train him, and in no time, not only will he, when he, by the time he reaches Gordon's level, he will pretty much have better stats overall. Alright, so, as for these guys, Luke and Rhodey, they will join you later on, but... Uh, might as well go over them. Luke is actually much more superior than Rhodey. I think, from, a from my perspective. And, um... I think I may have... I think I may have lost already. Did I lose? Don't tell me I lost. Um, yeah, I, I think I lost already. Shoot! <laughs> Already miss. You didn't miss. This isn't actually a death, but um, uh, let's cut. Oh yeah, we can highlight the units here. Like, highlight the danger zone. However, I'm not going to do that because every time I do that, it's going to slow down the video a lot, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to memorize it. So, 
We defeated Luke, but now Rhodey's now it's Rhodey's turn. However, in normal mode, Luke disappears first, and then Ryan and then Rhodey shows up. So okay, gonna go ahead and also train up Ryan as well. It just wouldn't be fair if I did all the work, and by me I mean John. There we go. You're even stronger than I imagined. And Prologue 2 is now complete. At around uh, 19 minutes. Map cleared again. You won! I knew you could do it. Alright, I'm a man of my word. I'll keep my promise. Now I'm the commander is on. How did you lose? It's simple. We didn't fight together. We took turns fighting John one on one. That's why we lost him. Yeah, my brother said the same thing. Even if we are weak individually, we can become stronger by working together with our friends. So yeah, fight for your friends. That's the way of the night. Yeah, you thought strength was enough. Yeah, it's all clear to me. It looks like the leader is being the leader is way more trouble than it's worth. I'll let him do all it. Does he really get it? No, no, he does not. So, now your commander, how about I give you a cool title? My title? So, I think this is, um, different based on your past or how your appearance is. So, Jean the Ordinary. Yeah, I am pretty much ordinary. Because what did you expect? I'm plain as vanilla. 